back with yet another video and we have this anime talk again where we talk about an anime I let, you, I let you know if it sucked why it sucked and why it didn't suck first off we start off with why it sucked and to be honest with you i didn't want to do this video because i love this anime and i didn't want to have to nitpick and find reasons why the anime sucked but i guess i had to just to be fair and uh i love my jojo's bizarre adventures one of my favorite animes of all time but like i said i have to be fair and i have to pinpoint some things that, that suck this anime didn't suck, but we gotta do it anyway. But we're gonna go through the anime instead of which means we're not gonna talk about uh, Steel Ball Run or Joe Jolian or Stone Ocean. We're not gonna talk about those because those are manga only as of right now. We may have a Stone Ocean coming soon, but we're gonna stop at uh, so we're gonna stop at Journal's Adventure and uh, Golden Experience or Golden Wind, and uh, that's where we'll stop at after that one. But uh, yeah, so we'll we'll try to break down the first five parts of uh, JoJo. And I'll let you know why it sucked, even though we both, we all know JoJo's absolutely does not suck. But let's go ahead and get started with it. So let's get to the first one. Oh no! So the first thing we'll start off with is uh, the hormone system, the hormone power system. Uh, we learned, we went through the whole first part and the second part of JoJo with Harmon being the major power system of the uh, of the whole anime along with vampires we'll get into that later but uh yeah the Harmon was so important especially in the second second uh with joseph trying to get him and uh sees strong enough to fight the pillar man and uh it was so incredible such nice nice build up of and you know in the anime and then boom we get to start with the crusaders and uh, Harmon means nothing it's absolutely useless we don't need it uh you have stands now, and uh, uh, Hamon doesn't work against stands. You can have you both Hamon and a stand, as Joseph showed us, but it's completely useless when fighting another stand, because only a stand can beat a stand, so we all know that. So Hamon was completely useless, so that kind of threw out the whole power system of part one and part two, making it completely irrelevant, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, just starting completely over. Uh, it would be different if they did like they did later on, where the seasons kind of mean different things, or different stories altogether. But this was a tower from the second to the third, and uh, it just meant nothing. The Hamon meant absolutely nothing. So the first reason why JoJo sucked, I hate saying that, was because of the Hamon system becoming completely irrelevant. So the second part of the second reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked is because of vampires. I mean, I don't know why they really kind of had the vampires and they got rid of them. They were very important in the first part with Dio and second part as well, but I'm not really sure if the, if the Pillar Man were vampires. I'm not really sure about that. But it seemed like they only had the vampires in there, especially in Stardust, was to make uh, Dio seem invincible or more uh, immortal. So that's the reason why they were able to keep him. But uh, I don't know. They kind of, from there on out, they kind of just, it was never mentioned again about vampires or anything like that. But uh, I mean, I, they do have some kind of supernatural aspects of JoJo in, as a whole. But to me, it just seemed like, okay, you kind of had the vampires and kind of got away from it. And I know everybody loves zombies and vampires and everything. But uh, like I said, they kind of just forgot about it after they beat, defeated uh, Dio and Stardust Crusaders. So like I said, you know, once again, just like the Hamon, it was something big that was introduced in the first two parts. It was kind of completely forgotten once you got past that and uh, never came up again. Uh, I mean, Vanilla Ice being a vampire and uh, Stardust was only was basically the only reason they was gonna beat him. So uh, him being becoming a vampire was his only weakness. But uh, yeah, it was pretty decent. Um, but I, I think they definitely dropped the ball where they kind of just forgot about vampires in, 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 in whole as a whole and some of the zombies as well. But yeah, as uh, the number two reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked was because of the lack of carrying over uh, vampires. I mean, you could have just not introduced some or just kept them on, but you, you, you kind of didn't need it. But let's go. The third reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked, and it may be, may be a little bit controversial, is because of Phantom Blood. Uh, to be honest with the first part of the series was uh, completely different and kind of boring compared to the rest of the series. I understand it was the kind of needed to kind of set up part two and part three, but I think you could have did it a different way and came in to start right from two and kind of kind of uh, changed up a couple of things and just completely left the first one out. It liked the humor and the uh, 
the charm of the rest of the series and uh, I don't know it just to me wasn't as it didn't connect as well as the rest of the series did I understand it was a lot older but at the same time uh, especially once you get to uh, part four it's totally different and it's just like I don't know it's uh, just a completely feels like a completely different anime as a whole and um, to me I didn't I didn't like Phantom Blood nearly as much as the rest of the series and a lot of people that get into Jojo's Bizarre Adventure you tell them hey just start off at uh, part two or part three don't even worry about Phantom uh, Phantom Blood because that kind of that's that part kind of brings it down kind of makes people kind of lose interest in it but it is what it is I guess it is kind of necessary but part the number the three reason why Jojo's Bizarre Adventure sucked was because Phantom Blood kind of sucked <laughs> Number four reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked, and to be honest with you, it's not a really major reason in my opinion, was the way uh, Diamond is Unbreakable, the artwork was, the art style was in it. The colors were different, they were a whole different kind of color palette. Uh, it didn't vibe as well when I first got into uh, this part. It kind of it kind of threw me off a little bit uh, after coming from Stardust, and I was like, I don't really, wasn't really feeling it. it. Took a while to get used to it, and don't even get me started on Jotaro. Uh, the way they made him look, it to me, I didn't like it at all. It kind of made him look far, way more, uh, less imposing, uh, not as serious as he was in Stardust. And it kind of, I don't know, it kind of changed his whole character. They even changed the, the whole color scheme for uh, um, Star Platinum, which is, uh, it wasn't bad, but I mean, it wasn't Stardust. And I liked him better, him and Joe were better in Stardust. But I mean, like I said, it wasn't a huge major thing, but it did kind of throw me off, throw me off at first until I got kind of used to it. But uh, yeah, the number four reason why uh, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked is because of the art style of uh, uh, Diamond is Unbreakable. So yeah, the number four reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked was because of these, the art style of Diamond is Unbreakable. And the last and main reason why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure sucked. And once again, like I said, I don't believe it sucked. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. And I'm kind of nitpicking with all these, all five reasons. But the last reason why is because each part other than Phantom Blood was contained, well, you know, eh, it was contained to one season. One, like, 20 episode run other than the first two seasons was shorter than that uh, 20 uh, episode run. And you really didn't get a whole chance to really... See, the, see them go on different missions, do different things, especially especially with the, uh, with a Golden Wind. It would have been amazing to see what happens after or in a, another kind of mission, because they only went on one mission in that, one mission in that whole season. season. And it kind of like, man, these characters are so amazing, and the, the, everything was so great in it, that I would really love to see them go on to you know, do more things. But I mean, that's kind of how the anime is. You get one season of these characters, and we move on to another season with new characters and uh, I mean that is a good thing and like I said when we get to the top five reason why JoJo's didn't suck that's gonna come up again but uh like I said I, I didn't I really really would have really liked that we got more of a story going on with uh, some of these characters with Joe uh Josuke and, and Okuyasu I would have loved to see what happened to them after they defeated uh Kira that would have been uh really nice really cool to see uh Especially even with Jorno and uh, Mister, to see what happens after the whole everything happens. And to be honest with you, uh, that probably wouldn't matter because um, Jorno was so strong at that point. <laughs> Anything would have came up, he would have just immediately eliminated. So I guess you can't. You had to kind of stop on that one. But like I said, especially with Diamond is Unbreakable, that story is kind of still going on. They kind of just left, and then they, you, we really don't know what happened afterwards. Especially in Stardust. We don't get what happens after every after they beat the L, but uh, you got Poland Ref coming back in uh, Part Five, and like that kind of time period between Stardust and Part Five, a lot happened. To, a lot happened to him in that period, and uh, it would have been nice to kind of see uh, maybe what happened in that. I mean, I guess we don't really know maybe what happens to Poland Ref now. Doesn't matter. Uh, did he even make it? I can't remember. But uh, obviously, would have really liked to see more uh more going with maybe a second season of diamond is diamond is unbreakable or the second season of stardust crusaders it would have been really nice in my opinion but i understand the concept of the art i mean it was the manga and the, uh, the anime and it is contained to basically one season so i'm okay with it but uh yeah that's it oh my god so that was my five reasons why jojo's bizarre adventure sucked 
And uh, like I said, I don't think it sucked. And we'll definitely be getting into five reasons why JoJo's Bizarre Adventure did not suck. So be on the lookout for that video as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I'm trying to do more of this. And I think I may do... Um, who I may, who I may I do next? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I may do Demon Slayer next. I'll do Demon Slayer next after we get done with JoJo. So uh, just be on the lookout for five reasons why Demon Slayer sucks. And we all know Demon Slayer doesn't suck, so... We'll get to that when we get to that. But that's all I got for you today. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below how you feel about this five top five list. As well as hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. This is Matrix 21. Peace. Talk to y'all later.